is 7 o'clock. This is Bob Steele. In the land of the three. Good evening. This is Dick Patel. Gail King, Eyewitness News. Good evening. I'm Denise DeSenza. I'm Dennis House. Thanks for joining us. The interview was done via satellite from the Patriots' current home in Foxborough, Massachusetts. The Crafts took questions from Jeffrey Cole and me, but more importantly, from Connecticut citizens. I've read that your organization has pledged $5 million for a junior football program. What other civic contributions and programs can we expect to receive from your company to benefit city neighborhoods and the surrounding communities? We hope to become very involved uh, in the greater Hartford and Connecticut philanthropy. We have been big supporters of the United Way, the Boys and Girls Clubs, the Catholic Charity Inner City School Programs, and I believe there are 300 charities in the past year that we have given $1,000 or greater to. The Crafts talked about what they get out of the deal, a state-of-the-art money-making stadium they will share at the University of Connecticut, and talked about what the Crafts will invest, a hotel and a $20 million NFL entertainment center. The Crafts say the project will rejuvenate Connecticut and its capital city. You're going to have tens of thousands of people, not just for football, but for the concerts and the soccer and all the other events, coming from all over New England to Hartford, experiencing its rejuvenation, spending money in the city, spending the night at hotels and restaurants and eating. So it really should be a win for the Connecticut citizens, uh, both being able to come to the facility, but also from an economic standpoint as well. Since the announcement of the move was made, the demand for season tickets from people in Connecticut has exploded which led to this question. Will more season tickets be made available to Connecticut residents? We have made a commitment that at least 10,000 of the tickets will be, will be in the hands of Connecticut season ticket holders. I'm Dennis House, Channel 3 Eyewitness News this morning.